Hello and welcome back again. Today we are going to create this professional looking infographic design. Let's get started. Let's first enable the guides and then do some calculations to determine width of each rectangle shapes. Since this design is of 5 steps, we must fit 5 rectangle shapes to cover entire slide width. So we must first determine the width of slide. Let's drag the vertical guide to left edge of slide and then find its value. It's 6.67 units from center zero position. Obviously, it will be same value on the other end of this slide. So if we consider left half of slide, we need to fit two and half rectangle shapes into it. If we divide 6.67 by 2.5, that will give us the width of each rectangle shape, which is 2.67 units. Alternatively, you can go under Design tab, and then choose Custom Slide Width. Divide Total Slide Width by 5, to get each rectangle width. Now go to Insert tab, and draw rectangle with width equal to 2.67 units. Create 4 more duplicates using Ctrl plus D to fill entire slide. Change fill colors of each rectangle shape. Select second and fourth rectangle shapes, bring them to front. Again select third shape and bring it to front. Now select second, third and fourth shapes and apply shadow effect. Increase blur value until you get desired effect. Now go to Insert tab, and draw rectangle over all these 5 shapes. Create 4 more vertical guides, and place them approximately at the middle of each 5 rectangle shapes. We will make use of these guides to create new edit points. Right click on big rectangle shape and choose edit points. Holding down control key, create new edit points at 5 new positions as shown. Rearrange these edit points in the form of wave. Right click on each newly created edit points, and smooth these points, to get perfect wave shape. Now on left side edit point, push the white color handle upward, until corner curve shape matches the wave pattern. Similarly do it on right side edit point.
Now format this shape with gradient fill. Make it a two-step gradient and change stop colors with light gray and white. Also apply outer shadow effect. Adjust transparency and blur values until you get desired effect. Go to insert tab and draw circle at first wave pattern. Make it no outline and slightly increase its size. Format this circle with same linear gradient and outer shadow effect. Now draw another circle at the center of first circle. Make it no outline and change its fill color. Holding down Ctrl key, drag both circles to create duplicates at each wave pattern. Change the fill colors. Add PNG icons and text fields to finalize our design. Let's speed up to save time. Better change the gradient direction of wave shape. I guess it gives more realistic effect. So here is the final preview. Hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to like, share and comment.